So in the last video we left off being able to like posts on someone's profile and we put in a check to make sure that someone can't like a post more than once. In this video we're going to be learning how to create an unlike button that allows you to unlike a post you've already liked. So let's get started. So before we get started we have to just change something. We have to change this user ID to follower ID. And the reason for that is because if we scroll up here we can see user ID is the ID of the user whose page we're on and follower ID is the ID of the person who's logged in. So whenever we like a post, we want to check if the user who's logged in has liked that post, not if the user whose page it is has liked that post. So now that we fixed that bug, we're ready to start making our unlike button. So here it says already liked, and what we're going to do is copy and paste the two queries above, and we're going to basically reverse them. So if we paste these two queries here, what we want to do is obviously subtract one from the total number of likes on that post. And then below that, what we want to do is instead of inserting into post likes, we want to delete from post likes. So these two queries should reverse the first one. So let's see, does that work? So according to our database, the user I'm currently logged in as is Francis, and that's the user with the ID of one. And if we click on post ID, we can see that I liked the post called Hello World. So if we go back to posts, so back on the posts table, we can see that Hello World has two likes. And by clicking like again, what it should do is take the like away. So now if I refresh, you can see likes have decreased by one. And we go to post likes, and now that like has just disappeared. If I click it again, we have a new like in the database and the likes in the post table have increased. The only problem is our like button still says like, it doesn't say unlike, so we need to fix that. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a simple query each time we loop through this for loop. It might seem wasteful to do another query every time, but it makes it a lot more simple to set up. So we're gonna create another query So here what we're doing is querying the post likes table to get all of the posts where the post ID is equal to the current post we're on, which in this case comes through the current item in the for each loop, which is P, and we get the user ID from the user who's logged in. And we actually want to get the post ID, not the user ID. So what we're doing is getting the post ID, and if this query returns a number, then we'll know that the user liked the post. Otherwise, we'll know that they haven't liked this post. So we're going to do an if statement and we're going to negate that and we'll say if the user hasn't liked the post then we'll show the like button otherwise we will show them an unlike button and we'll change this to unlike and then we'll change the name to unlike. So let's see what happens when we refresh the page. So you can see that button has updated and it says unlike. If I click on unlike it changes to like and it changes back to unlike, changes to unlike, changes to unlike. As you can see, it works exactly as you would expect. And you can see since we're logged in as Francis currently, we have an unlike button on Hello World and an unlike button on the other Hello World and a like button on Test, which means we haven't liked that one yet. And if we log in as How Code, you can see we have an unlike button on the Hello World, but the second Hello World doesn't. So everything seems to be working correctly. So before we go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show the total number of likes beside the current post. Well, since we're selecting all from posts, we're selecting all of the columns, all we need to do is beside the like button, we can create something like a span tag and we can print out the likes column from the table and I'll copy and paste that into the second part so that we have it for unlikes as well. So let's finally just refresh and see what this looks like. Now you can see it says two likes. If I click on that, it says one like. I click it again, it says two likes. And there we have it, our like button now works. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. The source code to this video and all the previous videos are in the description. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.